Right, that's interesting then. Because uh, I was screen sharing with the Skype screen share program some PSX games with my friend Bearsan, and I was wondering if there was like just a better way to do your general screen yeah, capture. Yeah, it's a recorder. Brilliant, it's a recorder. Right. It's not too bad though. Resident Evil. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I need a better recorder again, don't I? <laughs> um, Son of a bitch. Unfortunately, I think it's like we were having that conversation a while back, though, isn't it, bud? The, uh, the laptop's capable, but not when you're trying to do all this at once. It just bogs it down pretty heavy. <sighs> it's just, I, can't, I couldn't use... Hang on a minute, That's, that might help. I'm not using safe state, so that shouldn't be on. What else is on? The recorded stuff is on. I can get rid of that. No, I can't get rid of that. I'm not turning me. I've pretty much more. All, that's all I can do. I've got like the least amount of things on, so I'm gonna cut. We're recording now, anyway. So let's see what, where we go from here, anyway. You still there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Right, well, <laughs> quiet for a second. I'm gonna cut it and edit it. So, uh, welcome, folks, to another no say. Well, to the continuation of no say state run of Resident Evil. I'm Gun Games, and I'm joined today by uh, username on YouTube Loopney Third. Long story, just kept it as a spelling mistake. Otherwise, I am a Loop the Third seventy one on Twitch. Actually, it's not that bad. The lag's a lot better than it was before. It's because I had the uh, controller thing on. Ah, right. Yes, it does seem a lot more. Uh... It's because I. It's because my. It seems the safe state thing that I use, my control joystick key thing, which I don't need here, doesn't like my recorder. No. Ah. After the last mistake, thanks to a certain someone, I got squished, and I think and got all. I think one of the uh, crests is in. Probably in that guest trap room, I'm not sure. This guy! But. I think that was me, wasn't it, that got you squished? Yes, it was you. Good old jinx. It wasn't funny, because I actually thought, I'll try and go the other way, where normally they'd have gone straight for the shotgun, but no. That's okay, I was playing the 64 edition of Resi 2 this morning as Claire, and William was just absolutely <laughs> decimating the floor with me on the lift. <laughs> Dear. So, it's karma got me. Karma got me in the end. It, well, the thing is, to, it was uh, it was funny actually because the most horrible thing about making a mistake like that is when you rewatch a video and you see the point where you could have avoided it. Oh uh, yeah, and you just like there. See that split second? That is the moment in your life when you could have changed how the outcome came. I think I've got all the crests. One of them might be already in. If not, I'm going to go find the gas trap room. Because I've probably left it in there. But yeah, this is actually not bad. I'm going to have to start using Jeremy more often. Uh, yes, it seems to be quite respectable. Well, I've used uh... this before and other things. It's just, I never tried. Let's play and I always use tried. And with Skype's green share taking up so much bandwidth. Yeah, Skype... <laughs> Skype is very, very, uh... Oh, you're still here. I thought intensive. I killed you. I thought I killed this dog. Did he just try crawl... Oi! What do you think you're doing? Ah, that'd be why. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. You remind me of bloody <laughs> cacti, you know. Do I? Yeah, he does stuff like this. Uh, I... Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched any of the bits I've done with my friend. We try just to be random in games as well. <laughs> Stay dead, you stupid animal. I've just wasted the herb with that. Right, no, I haven't done that yet. So I have to fight. I'll go all the way back to where the gas room is, where I did the trap without getting the bloody crest. Fantastic. Ah. I did it again. The I did armor it. Armor room. I've done that with the uh, crow puzzle. Actually, I've done the puzzle and then left the crest. 
Because I'm like, where's I think the I did that sometime. I must have been running around for like an hour. Like, where the hell's a crest? I'm missing a crest. Where is it? It's they always say the most obvious thing in front of you is what you'll miss. Yeah, I'm putting these in now anyway. Well, it'll save time later, won't it? An inventory yeah. space, so. I do like the revamp of this puzzle in the remake, where you just need the one sort of crest to get out. But well, I would have. I don't. I've never played the re remake full on because basically the controls are diff are horrible. I played it for five minutes, and when I got killed by the same the first zombie you see about five times, I thought I'm not playing this game again. Yeah, the, I think the you said you have the Wii version, do you? The controls are horrible on it. It's just I probably like it if it wasn't for controls. It's just. Now I've got a Wii U, I can't use a GameCube controller anymore. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, seriously, what's with that Nintendo? There it is. I'm never going to let you down for that, you know that. Well, I suppose it's got to start somewhere, hasn't it? <laughs> well, it's alright, because uh, he hasn't done it yet, but uh, when Cacti made the mistake with Gas Trap, I think Oh, it. yes. He now, he's got now got something, I'm trying to remember where the bloody, uh, that room is now. Uh, upstairs, next to the yawn, first yawn encounter. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know if I've already got this spare clip that's here. I think I might have, but try to check anyway. Yes, I've already been and got it. I do like in Code Veronica the recreation again of the mansion. Uh, oh, the yeah. The stages. I always think there's another one there, but I don't get why they put that one there. That one's, that's pointless, unless... It'll probably have a clip later on when Hunter's come or something, probably, will it? Maybe it's just meant to psych you out and think there's some there. Well, there's something in the first one. I know not, and there is high... My, my only virus saying is high CP usage by your recorder. Right, I need to go upstairs, so I need to go for... Have you played the beta releases of this yet, then, Gone, that have come out recently? You mean the one with the graphical intro? Uh, I'm not sure. I think one was from the Tokyo Game Show 94 or 95 release. I've heard 95. there's some... I've heard there's, like, a, one, a version which shows the full intro with it, the uncut version in colour and everything. But I haven't got oh, it. Oh, yes. Um, that's the Japanese... Uh, I thought it was the French. Edition. I think you've got it on the French version as well. Yes, uh, we was uh, funny story on that. I was checking up again. We were meant to have the full uncut intro on our copy of Director's Cut, mm. but we didn't. However, the French did. Well, at least it's not the German version where they removed half the violence and gore. Well, that's what that mean. Uh... I fully Scott, I, before I could figure out I could cheat by with the uh, not having to use the D pad on my controller, I would I try and get the DualShock version. Right. And believe me, it's not fun playing the first Resident Evil with the DualShock version. They've removed so much of the game. They've dis they've destroyed the opening scene completely. They've removed changed the music. They've ruined so much of it. Uh, wrong way, dude. Yeah, I'm just getting... I've got a lighter on us still. I'm still trying to get this. Ah. The, uh... Yeah, I've never understood this. I know, I, I don't have a... I put idiot. the lighter back, didn't I? I thought I had ah. one. I hate when that happens. I thought I had still had a lighter. Like, it, it... I think you brought this up last time you were playing it. Yeah. It's clearly not that dark in that room. Yeah. Why do you need the lighter? Also, even if it was that dark, how can one little candle... Light up the room that's next door, which is covered by a wall. Exactly. It just doesn't make sense. Mind you, a lot of things don't make sense in this game. Well, I suppose that's silly Japanese and their Americanizations. It is. Right, I've been through there, so... I hate... That's the only thing I hate. I like this game to bits, but the only thing I hate... When you haven't played it for a long, long time... There it is. You're like, which room's oh, which? Oh, trying to remember. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh... Gone Girl beat me at Halo 2 yesterday. I saw the notice on your, uh... It was not a good day for me that day. 
I learned that it's day. Okay, man, you're ill. It, I, it's not there, is it? Where the hell is it then? Which one have I missed? You've got. What you got? I haven't got missed the one in Yon's room. I haven't missed the one in the. Have I missed the one in the Tiger statue? Oof, good question. You'd have to check your item box. Either that, or I've not. I was just because I, haven't, I need to press the button. Which well, have I you done Yon yet? I've done yawn. I've definitely done yawn. I can't, because I had, I didn't actually fully say it, I don't think. I said it in the stream much I did go in against yawn. We, wait till we meet again, yawn, when I kill you. Or something like that. I think you might, you might be just, you have to press it, I haven't pressed the button. Come on then, Jill. Press it. No, you must have pressed it, dude. Where the hell have I missed a crest? Because it's not from yawn. Uh, let's have a think here. You've got Yawn, you've got the armor room, you've got the tiger statue. I uh, might be the tiger. Watch, watch the... this. It'll be a tiger statue. You think it's tiger statue? I'm going to absolutely laugh if the tiger statue's got the jewel in and it's just still there. Just like opened up, ready for it to be turned. Yeah, I keep doing <laughs> stuff like this. It's not. I know it's not the armor room. I remember getting the, the uh, crest. I'm just trying to remember where you get the fourth one from now, isn't it from the uh I've got I might what it might be the crow room again, I don't know though. I doubt it. Oh cause yeah, the crow room. It's That's either the, the crow room or getting. the tiger statue I've missed. I'm diff I know it's definitely not the yawn one because I'm I had a right time trying to do that one because Once you get into that bit you have to get it and if you don't get it again, you can kill Yarn still. But I don't want to yes. go through that again. I've gone round in a circle. Well done, gone. <laughs> <sighs> the sense of direction of Ryoga. Oh dear. Right, let's... That was the same. What was I on? I think I was playing Wild Arms 3 and I was just like, where am I going again? <laughs> let's see if I've done it. Is it still there? No, this is worrying me. This is actually is worrying me. Tiger statue? I'm not sure. Which Yon's one is the uh, moon, is it? Ooh, now you're asking a question. Ooh. I'm also get. Can't remember. Watch me up and watch this. I'll have to go all the way up to Yon's room and do it. What now? I'm also gonna cry. So in fact, I know wait a minute, I know which one the tiger statue is. It's a wind one. So if that's missing, I'm gonna be okay. Room, yawn, tiger statue. I'm trying to remember where the. You've got tiger statue, yawn. Yeah, it's the tiger statue. You get the moon from yawn. You get the star from the crow room, and you get the sun one from the gas room. Which means either I haven't got the jewel yet, or it's still there. Ah, yes, after you've... Uh, I can't believe yeah. it. Why do we keep doing stuff like this? <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? It ain't funny. Oh, I do like in the PC edition, you can actually skip the loading sequences of the doors. What? There's an actual PC edition? In the actual, yes. I'm uh, reading on Wikipedia, it says you can get extra weapons and stuff, but I played through the UK edition on the PC ten years ago, somewhat daft like that now. And I never picked up any extra weapons. It was just. I, I, it's probably just a I didn't PC. even know there's a PC version. Oh, yes, there's, there's a PC edition of 1, 2, and 3. And Gun Survivor 1 had a PC edition in Japan. Right. Uh, and that's which a useless doesn't toilet actually... room, so... Good Survivor 1 isn't any better on the PC, I can tell you that. <laughs> Am I Ark Thompson? This is going to do my head in. Because oh, Rail kept saying, why don't you look at the map, lad? I don't want to look at the map. That's it. I know which room that is. I don't, don't go in there. Why did they even have that room anyway? Uh, originally, 
it was going to be like it was in the remake, I believe. With the one in the, the bath. Water out and the zombie would be in the bath. Yeah, I remember that. But limitations of the PlayStation and stuff, it all got changed. <sighs> Although in the director's cut version, there's a handgun clip in there as Jill and the zombie stood around in the toilet. Ah. That's a save room. Uh, I'm going to have to check them out because... I've gone past the doorway a bit, haven't I? Yep, I've gone past the doorway. I'm all on the wrong side of the mansion completely. <laughs> I hate when this happens. <laughs> because uh, and if you go back to the dining room, it's not far from the... Uh, which is a point, actually. I might as well go to the dining room shortcut. I can get to it quicker fire that way. Huh. Helmet door. The wallpaper, room. the wallpaper does not help in this mansion, it confuses you. Talk about a very boring mansion, <laughs> dull green on green. It's Gip Green, isn't it, really, though? Oh, yeah, it, it reminds me of pea and ham soup, some of it. <laughs> just, just that consistency. Yeah. Well, I'll hopefully be See? uploading this today. It's the first upload I've done in a long time, so everyone's like, what took you so long? I was planning to actually finish recording all of the Mario and then start uploading it, so then I'd have it done and wouldn't have to worry about it, but that went out of the window this morning. <laughs> yeah, because I was sort of thinking to myself, hmm, Gon's not uploaded the rest of his playthrough with Rail for a while. What's, what's going well, on there? Well, this playthrough with Rail, what it is, it's not just with Rail. I decided uh, I'd do something different. I thought... I'm not going to do a save state run, but I thought I'd have like different people on as well, not just like one. You know what? No other people let's play is doing to stick to one person. Yes. Oh, right. Well. So that's why it's uh, it's like Mary, let's play Resident e let's play Resident Evil no save state run with guests or no ah. save state guest run. That makes more sense now. It's just something I decided to do because uh, you know it's a good project to do. Yeah, it's a little different, like you say, like different uh, co-hosts each sort of thing. Well, I can't see the Julia, so I think I've already got it, which means... That you've probably No, it's, it still it's, still it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. I didn't right. make that... I'm not that much... I didn't make that much of a mistake, thank God. Right, insert read and audio. <laughs> I will go and get the statue gem. I don't do that. Then Get the tiger. A lot of people, I don't know if it, I don't think any Let's Player really does that. I mean, I know they edit some things out, but I've done, the only thing I edit out was the beginning parts where I haven't said, you know, the introduction yet. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, I'm a bit commando with stuff right now. Oh, you haven't gone around and unlocked the door from the other side. I can't be bothered. <laughs> but, uh, don't go in there. That's where the uh, zombie comes out of the wardrobe, I think. It's this one I want to know. It's not that one. Oh wait, is that one, isn't it? I've got to go. Oh, yeah, you need to. Hit it. You've got to be joking. I've got to go all the way around, don't I? Yep, because you, you didn't unlock the door. Son of a. Ah, oh, dear. Oh well. I don't Next normally time, do children. this all this stuff. <laughs> well, like you say, I think with uh, trying it a different way and that things are just just a little scrambled in it you forget to do something and then yeah. you go later on you're like ah oh, man yeah because why if you if you do it the way you've always done it you always do everything you know because you're like you do that do that do that oh yeah it's, it's just like driving on the same road you've done for the past 10 years oh it's like you don't even think about it yeah have you opened the costume room yet actually i might need to get some herbs oh, i've already been in here there's anything left for me to take though Probably not, but let's have a look anyway. No clip. Uh, this is probably empty. That's empty. I've probably got everything. I'm just, just probably. I'm just hoping that there's been herbs which early before I didn't have enough room for or something. Yes. So it's, it's the Fallout 3 syndrome, just looking around to scavenge for everything. Well, it's good to keep a good, as I've taught, as I ended up having to teach character, it's good to keep her, keep spare herbs, because you'll need them later. 
I think I've already oh, got it. Oh, yes. I think I've already got yes. everything. Yeah. I've already got everything from this room. The only thing I haven't got is something I can't get because I don't have the special key. Or I do on the other one anyway, but uh, this is no safe state run. I always thought the Jill costume was a bit lame in this one. Yeah, I thought that. I mean, I've never... Well, I've never actually got the special key before until recently, until I said, all right, I'm going to do both scenarios, which I've done. Right. Which have you seen? Because I got the rocket launch and everything. And I saw a costume yeah, yeah. light. What the hell was the point? The thing is, you can't change it back either. Can't you? I thought you could. I, could, I, I kept going back and it wouldn't let me change it back. I kept pressing the button and it wouldn't let me change it back. Yeah. Didn't it say anything about changing it back? Oh, this is going to be horrid. I'm going to go all the way back. In fact, I might as well save now before I mess up somewhere and having to forget I have to do all this crap again. Yes, I will use the ink ribbon. No, not memory card one. I'm not saving over my rocket launcher runs. I'm not doing very well here. I've got eight saves already. <laughs> the good thing with Resi 1 is it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's it's all about getting the time. Yeah. Doing it in a certain amount of time, isn't it? For the special key in the rocket launcher. Which I've already... Uh, you, you've already... I know I've already, already been there. Stairs, dude. <laughs> Which I've already, pretty, I've already done that, so it doesn't really matter. No. Hell, I think my very first time I completed it on my own, it was eight hours. I like, can't remember. Back the, in 97. I think the first time I got it, my mum, well, after I completed it, my mum had just seen like the last bit, last bit, but last bit with Tyron, and she's like, "What did you get that game? And like, you bought it, man. Like, did I? <laughs> yeah. She didn't know it was this violent at the time, I don't think. I, uh, I remember, like, proper when my uncle first got his PlayStation in 96 sort of time, but I think he'd had his from America because he had a, a step-down converter with it. Ah. And a television. And Resident Evil was one of the games he had with it, and I watched my brother play this for like four hours solid that night. We were happy ourselves most of the night. Well, the thing is, my mum didn't take the game off me because I'd bit li I've done the whole... Because once you realised that I'd finished the game without actually having nightmares or anything, she thought, it can't be that bad. Here well, we the go. thing is, um, See, I, don't, I don't know about you, I've always seen sort of like a lot of adult films, you know, 18s and stuff, when I was quite young, but well, like my, I would watch them with my dad, so you would get the contact, uh, the context of the film. I've watched a lot you of know, adult films uh, when I was younger, but uh, my mum would, like, would let me watch horrors, so I watched stuff like Rocky and Rambo, but not stuff like Nightmare on Elm Street, she wouldn't let me watch that stuff. Yet she'd right, like, like she'd yet she'd let me watch Rambo. Yeah, the the Rambo Rambo. I mean, well, let's be honest here, especially Rambo three. It's it's like uh, the old war films, Invisible Bullet Syndrome. You <laughs> see the guys get shot, but they have no bullet wounds. They just drop to the floor, like in the old war films. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, no, I'm, I am a sort of believer as like kids aren't stupid. No. Quite into, um, you sort of as long as you watch something with them, and if they say, "Why is that happening?" and this, you know, what makes me laugh philosophy. is what makes me laugh is how uh, people go, "All oh, games make kids violent." Yeah, there was a lot of sick people in this world before video games existed. Well, consider consider this: you've got Mario. What are you doing there? Drugs, uh, basically. Take magic mushrooms and jump on people. Exactly. You've got Zelda, you've got a sword and kill everything in sight. Do you see kids doing them nowadays? I mean, kids around my area are getting really nasty. I must admit, they're getting proper full of attitude. I'd like a oh, seven... I, I worked... Um, <laughs> people with swords. Well, I worked at Flamingo Land for a stint in uh, my county. And... I heard one day when we came back, a bloke at four o'clock in the morning was running around buck naked nearly with a samurai sword, threatening people. Oh, well, I actually have uh, a replica of the Master Sword, not just the one I've built, but an actual proper one. Now, when I ordered it, I was informed because I said I don't want... Because I was informed it wasn't live. However, when it right. arrived, I felt the blade and it was pretty damn sharp and it could easily take someone's head off. Oh, it's... It's, it's always funny when people say, you know, oh, get this, 
get get this sword. It's it's not sharp enough. You know, it's it's blunt blunt edge. No, I wanted the sword anyway because it was a master sword. It was just the details crap, and it was I was told on the website it was supposed to be not live, which means I could legally get it. Yeah. It's live, which means I can't. I have to either I have to either find a way to get rid of it. Oh, well, I stick it under the mattress for twenty years. <laughs> well, that's what I. My, well, my mum found. I had it under my uh, bed. I've got one of those. Uh, do you know what beds with sliding drawer thing is? Oh yes. Yeah. I had one of them, and my mum found it because she was looking for uh, a camera charger, and she didn't know about it, and she wasn't too happy. Uh, <laughs> I can imagine. Yes, it didn't go down well. You can get it bluntened if you want it. Just put it on a um, uh, on a. Ref oh, that's a rather handsome chap there. <laughs> Put it on a grindstone and flatten it out. And well, I could do, I could do it legal. myself, but uh... <sighs> sorry, because I've been well, like I see. <laughs> I've been taking sorry, me dude, taking photos with my uh, well, well, with my gun with gun girl, and unfort there's been times where I've been in the park and there's all these stone bits, and I'm like, I wish I had my sword right now. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I again? <laughs> I hate when this uh, happens. No, you could have. I could have gone all the, the way around and saved some time. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's nothing gonna nah. kill me. There's no dangerous yet. It's later, and I need to go uh, to a save room soon anyway, because I've not got many clips left. <laughs> and another thing, um, from the beta version of Resident Evil One, you don't have to press X to go up and down stairs. You just walk up and down them like in Resi Three. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, serious. That's that's. Why didn't they have that on this? That's unfair. Well, um, in actual Biohazard 1.5, Capcom have been using ideas that they had in that game for the past 10, 15 years. Right. <laughs> Speaking of Cam Capcom, I've uh, I've just actually seen the new trailer for the Ace Attorney 5 uh, game. Oh, right. Any and they're what well, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, as to previously unknown, they actually seem to be using like you know in actually cut scenes in the actual game, which looks pretty cool actually. Well, unlike because um, I'm only familiar with the older ones where it's like the static. Yeah, they've not got that. They've got like prop. I'll uh, I'll have to send you a link, but they've got proper 3D uh, things because you're on 3DS and you can actually look around the whole crime scene and move it and everything. Oh, that's cool. It then. looks really really good. So I, would say, I think I said before, I've never quite got into the Phoenix Wright games, though I have played them and I did enjoy what I did play. Well, I got into them for a friend. My friend, because when I was still at school, my friend always brought me the yes and he'd go, objection, objection, because we used the recording thing to voice. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you saying? And when he told <laughs> yeah. me, I'm like, I'll have to check that game out. And I saw it at my game shop and I bought it and I thought, yeah, this is a good game. <laughs> and that was the first one. Right. Finally. I I, I remember uh, taking the old Link Cable and Game Boy original into school and sharing Pokemon <laughs> with the Link Cable. <laughs> it's, I have that with my little uh, brother now. My little brother's like eight and he's like, oh, have you got Pokemon? How many have you got? He went, oh, 400 and odd. And like, do you know in my day, if you caught 151, you was a legend. Now in your day, yeah, if you've got... <laughs> what are you want? Tell me about it. <laughs> It's like now you can use all these action replay cheats to get everything so quickly. You couldn't back in the day, could you really? No, the the action replay for the Game Boy was not very good <laughs> from what I remember. Yeah. I uh, in my English class in my secondary school, we had the Pokemon chart, all 150 Pokemon, <laughs> or 151 by then it was, and my teacher, Mr. Fur. We, they, they knew I was quite into Pokemon, like the cards and games and that. And I memorised that chart backwards and forwards, and any random number I could tell you what Pokemon it was and type it was. And so for that's a actually, bet... <laughs> that's actually, I must admit, that's pretty cool. It, I, I honestly, I will admit now, I cannot do it now. It's, it's, you know, I was 10 years old when I could do this. So that was 16 years ago. To be fair... Um, I've done some crazy stuff for a bit. I've actually, you've actually seen, I've actually got recorded the video of that. I memorized the element song for a bit because this kid, this other college student who was in a different college to me, said everyone from my college were idiots, basically. 
So I said, right, I'll bet you 50 quid by next week I can name every element in the periodic table. So I did the element song and he went, oh, you can do it. And I went, actually, no. This proves how stupid you are because there's actually seven elements missing off all of that and you didn't even notice. God, I can't remember the periodic chart of elements. <laughs> it's just, I used the element song to remember it, but there's seven elements missing off that because that was in the 70s when that was wrote. So recently ah, discovered. I suppose, yes, there's been uh, recent discoveries, haven't there? Yeah, there's like seven or eight new elements since I think it was the seventy odds when that were made. That Tom Laura song. But uh, I've used. Where are we going now, dude? Uh, back to a save room. I'm probably going the wrong way. I don't care. This is just play around, really. <laughs> I'm I'm not we were right next to one. <laughs> I'm not bothered about timing on this now. I've already I've already done the time thing. No, well, like I said, it's a dining room. Plus, I can, I kind of, you kind of get more footage, and you can kind of talk, do more stuff, really. Oh yeah, well this is it. Yeah, so uh, everyone, everyone's probably like, why are you going the long way around? It's just, just me, folks. It's just, I don't need the timing anymore. I don't need the ranking, so I'm good. What I do need is to remember to go the right way, though. Ugh. Yeah. I, the Resident Evil 1's music, I just, I've just, i still always like this music. It really does have an atmosphere to it. Yeah, that's why I didn't like what they did with the uh, the Jewel Sucker version. They took it all out and changed it. It ruined it, really. Oh, there's that... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's from the Japanese one. It's like that orchestral stuff. Yeah, it's... Cr excuse my French here, folks, but it's crap. Yeah, it's... It's not that good. I mean, I've listened to it and stuff, but I do prefer right. the actual original music. I'm going to take a herb, just in case. Don't need shells, don't need shells. I haven't got clips up. Should have... Crap, I haven't got no clips left. Uh, oh you'll get some when you get to the guardhouse. Should I go get... Should I go... Do you reckon I should go get those uh, acid rounds from, that, from by the yarn room? Yeah, yeah, it might I'm be a, worth getting them. I might as well do. I'm gonna need them. Yeah, because handgun rounds are a little short by the look of it, so. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm Just trying not to use the uh, bazooka or rocket launcher. I can't remember what it's called in this version. Till quite later on, because uh, you probably know this, but uh, when Barry actually said when. The, ep the, qu the cheesy quote that Barry does in everything, so that's wrong, is actually kind of a clue, because when he says especially on living things, most people uh, people oh. have said he's referring to the hunters. So that's what he's meaning, don't waste them on zombies. Yeah, I think he's just in general referring to the fact that the acid rounds do a one-shot kill on most enemies. Yeah, but when he says living things, zombies, it's a waste to use them on zombies. He's probably like referring... I suppose, though, like you say, he does emphasise on living things, yeah, like you're saying. Yeah, well, people have said that to me. This is not from me actually knowing that. I've just had someone else say that to me before, and I thought, yeah. I've never given it much thought, to be honest. Right, no, I need to go on the other side of the mansion, so... All I remember is that it's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. It's funny, uh... A gun girl was watching the videos for this, and I said, "Why?" He says, "I don't like zombies." They're like, "Come on, this is the first one, like one of the first zombie games. The graphics are that bad. Are that bad? Well, I mean, Salt and Resident Evil, but the graphics are that bad. It does the zombies really aren't that scary." No, no, it's especially when you. I think, like you say, going back on to sort of age of people <laughs> playing it. If you're about 12, 13 years old. You wouldn't find this scary, especially a, a modern twelve or thirteen year old. Well, it's all right. I've had, I mean, uh, my dad. My, I've had to. Tell, I've had to list. A, I've given my dad basically a massive list of games what my little brother can't play. He's playing stuff like uh, Fallout and Call of Duty and really proper violent games. Yeah. And he's going. Re, he's get. He's not do. And I know I said earlier they don't make him violent, but they're making him get really aggressive, and it's kind of worrying, really. I can understand, I mean, hell, back in the day, Tekken 1 used to furiate the hell out of me to no end. Well, it's just, uh, he gets too into the gun games, and these are real proper violent games, and I said, Dad, you can't play them, he says, I don't know. So what I did was, I got him, uh, put him an emulator on his computer, and says, right, turn Xbox off, he says, why? He says, because you're playing a better game than that. He went, this is the best yeah. game, and I went, nope, you're off on Ocarina of Time, that's a better game. 
And the thing is, it hey, works. I agree, though. That it, is a better game than It's got a world record. It re- it's got a world record, but it actually works. He's stuck, for, from what I've heard from my dad, he hasn't played on the Xbox in about two weeks. He's been stuck on computer on Ocarina of Time. The, the problem is, modern games are too short, too easy to get into. But, you know, they're all gun games, a lot of them. You say Call of Duty and that. What's, um, who is it? There's a, a YouTube user. I forget his name now. He does all the angry angry kids on Xbox Live. You mean that angry video game nerd or something? Is that him? No, about... it's not the AVGN. This one's Angry Kids on Xbox, and uh, he's an American. But there's a lot of kids on Call of Duty 1 and that lot, and, well, not Call of Duty 1 now, Modern Warfare 1, I should say. Well, like. my brother's like 9 and he's playing this kind of stuff, so as you can imagine. Yeah. The thing is, that's the only thing I hate about where everything is going, because it's coming to where the real proper good games, the platformers, are getting left behind. Because oh, everyone's yeah, getting psyched up. I mean... It's, um... Skyward, I haven't played, I've still, I've got Skyward Sword, I've still yet to start it, actually. But, uh, I've heard it's pro- apparently better than Ocarina of Time, but I don't, not exactly sure that's true, seeing as how it's Ocarina of Style still holds a world record for the most critically acclaimed game of all time. I thought that was Pong that ha- held that record. Nope, Ocarina of, <laughs> Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, if you look in the Guinness World Records Games Edition, it's held that record since the, since the year it came out, 15 years running. Most, nice. Most critically acclaimed game of all time. Have you got the lighter on you, dude, and heading upstairs? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which I've just missed. I'm just. Re- I should really <laughs> concentrate on what I'm doing rather than talking, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry about it. Like you say, we can trim down a few bits if it's. Uh... I don't. I don't really edit much. I mean, I showed it to one of my friends. I, uh... at... Sorry, dude. Go on. I showed this. Showed the uh, first part to one of my friends at college. Said it's too long. I says, "Well, it has to be long because if it weren't long, I'd have like seventy odd bloody parts." Exactly. No, I don't. Uh, I don't edit. Well, to be honest, I don't edit at all. Uh, or I've not had to yet, anyway, unless someone says something that I really think is inappropriate. <laughs> well, I don't have like any proper video edit software. Just you know, when you upload it to YouTube. Yes, what you I do trim is, it down on that, do you? What I do is I upload it as private first, I then cut it down, cut the start bits down from where I've like, me, like been messing around, you know, trying to get everything sorted. Ah, right. Oh, that's still, that's that's a good way of doing it. Yeah, you want to go back through that door you're at, dude? Uh, son of a... I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem. I lost a Halo 2, and my, she says, Oh, you got beat by a girl, and I went... Look, I've been playing Resident Evil a lot. I'm too used to auto aim, and I'm not used to having to aim manually like that anymore. I always turn auto aim off. Well, I've, I've got, the last time I played Halo 2 was just before I fell out of with Xbox was in 2006. Uh, ooh, that's a hell of a long time ago now then. Yeah, when you're playing the Slayer match with Halo 2 maps, maps you don't recognise because you you, you're so used to the Halo 1 maps, it didn't really help. They're shutting the Halo 2 server down, aren't they, Sue? I didn't know there was a Halo 2 server. I never did any online stuff with Halo, really. Oh, right. Uh, I might be a year or two out of date then, but I know they were shutting it. I mean, most of the like, original Xbox is completely shut down. Well, what I did have an Xbox, me and, my fr- a friend, me, me and a friend actually completed the first two Halo games on Legendary and co- Co-op. Nice. The second one, not a problem. The first one... <sighs> Very big problem. I hated the first one generally because of that. And have I got a second floor map yet? Yeah, I have. It's just a lot. The most, my fit, hit, most hated bit, which is weird because it's the most bit, the, my favourite bit, and it's also awesome, my most hated bit, is the last bit at the end on Halo One. In Halo One. The reason I like it so much is because the music, the music on the last bit when you're trying to get on the warthog is great. The reason I hate it so much is because it's so damn difficult to survive it. Oh, I can imagine on the harder settings as well. Yeah, you've literally got to got to land perfectly. Yeah, because um, spoilers for anyone who doesn't know, at the end of Halo One, isn't that where you're in the warthog and you've got to jump onto the yep. aircraft? It is. Thing? It is. 
That's the one, yeah. It's been some time. I don't think I finished it myself, but I helped my mate finish it when he was getting a bit stuck. I've heard uh, off a friend of college, I'm not sure if it's the original version or like the Xbox 360 version, but if you go to single player mode and then you do it, it's impossible apparently. Because no matter what right. you do, it's, apparently it's glitched. I don't know if it's the old version or the new version, but it's, apparently if you do it in single mode and legendary, this is what I've been told, it's glitched so you can't win it, so it, no matter how good you land, you'll always die. See, that's cheap. Yeah. That's just not fair I think at all. Might, I haven't been in that room yet. I think there actually might be a clip I have in there. Is it just a bonnet botany book? Uh, I believe it's just the book, but you can unlock the door from the inside, go through the corridor, head down the stairs. Which will make everything room. a lot faster, yeah. Come on. Yes, I already know this. Hmm, bot any book, eh? <laughs> That'd be a mo that, that would be an Unreal Tournament mod, I believe. Probably. I remember when UT came out and it was like, oh, look, I've got this mod that they do add bots so you don't have to play with your friends anymore. Uh, yeah, and then someone just says, you could do that anyway. It's called a computer AI. Uh, if I remember correctly, original Unreal Tournament didn't have any. Oh, I thought you meant it's games in general, not just original Unreal Tournament. All oh, right, no, no, yeah. Just There's me thinking of like... Unreal. I wonder if they were like, games have that anyway. Well, I don't know, some games you played where the character, like Aliens, Colonial Marines, where McNeil just stands in a doorway and blocks you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My little I, brother I, had a similar I, I, thing with that. Sorry, dude, go on. Sorry. Do you know where, uh, in Ocarina, where you have to get part, where you have to get the beginning bit, where you have to get your sword and the shield? Yes. My little brother spent about half an hour trying to figure out why I couldn't get past, uh, what I can remember his name. What's his name now? It's Mackie or something like that. Oh. Right. Is he in that, it's a mean dude that doesn't like you. Right, I can't remember. I've I know the name, I like just can't the... think of it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, cause it, like, it's annoying when stuff like, when things block you like that and stuff. Right. Uh, the thing is, uh, I, I like it when you get stuck in a game because you think, oh, well, like, uh, I've switched to a lot of RTS and RPGs recently. Yeah. And I think, oh, I'll, I'll go and level up for half hour instead. And then I might figure it out. If not, I'll go and fight somewhere else. Or... I've got but... something like that on uh, Kingdom Hearts Recorded. I've basically beat the game. There's only, like, select bits. Like, I have to get the Q-Blades and finish the rest of the uh, leveling up, Are like, gonna... Matrix chip. Are we going to head outside now, dude? Yes, we are. We've... We've procrastinated long enough. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm recorded. I've still got to find like the final keyblade and level it up, and then just do the rest of it. So there's like a thing on the uh, Olympus world or Hercules world. If you go outside once you've done like all the game, yeah. As soon as you go outside the Colosseum, there's like loads of enemies just spawning, and you can just spend like out spend the time just there leveling up so easily. Right. <laughs> Which is how I've been on like, I... the keyblades. I finished Kingdom Hearts 2000. No, this is. I'm on about the uh, DS version recorded one. Ah, right. It's. I don't think this is an original. And why do we keep doing this? This is the second time I've done this. No, I've. I. I've only played through Kingdom Hearts one on the PS. <laughs> and that was some years ago. Now I believe I've still got my hundred. Well, it wasn't hundred percent. It was my. New Game Plus save, where I could then 100% it if I wanted to. Well, I have got... I've got all every single Kingdom Hearts game, apart from the GBA, I think, Chain of Memories game, but I've got Chain of Memories on PS2, which I can't... Yeah, I was... It, it, I was going to say, the, the Game Boy Advance one did come out, didn't it, on the PS2? Yeah, the unfortunate thing was, the PS2 version isn't europe -avised, which means I can't play it on my PlayStation. Ah. What the what? Fortunately, though, I all the ROMs I've got, like including this one, except for the the director's cut, which I kind of uh, I did download that. Are actually my own ROM, ROMs from my disc. They're actually burned from my own disc. Right. So because I could do that, I can actually can play it if I had a decent processor on my laptop. Ah, that wouldn't be too bad then. So I just need to, all I need to do is switch the BIOS to uh, the American. 
I do have the slide tool for your PS2 where you can use a boot disc. The problem with that, it's so bloody cumbersome. Yeah. Uh, I think we've got the one wrong I, way I'm again. Just, I'm like, I keep thinking, like, I keep going for the wrong rooms and like, where am I going? Why do we keep going the wrong way? <laughs> Don't mind it here, folks. This is, this is just testing here, folks. This is just making sure we've got no lag. Right. Watch me go the wrong way again here now. I'm trying to think now. You can get to the uh, courtyard by... The blue door. The through the art room, through the corridor, through the green room, straight out the exit door opposite the art, the uh, crow room. Alright, smarty pants. I was thinking of the save room when it's nearby. <laughs> Do I want to save? It's nearby. I know it's... All I know is it's, I remember it's nearby a save room. I distinctly remember the save room. That's why I was trying to think which save room it was. Well, we just we we actually just came up from the save room. I know in a we big did. <laughs> this is just making sure this it well it kind of is but this is just testing to see if my screen share is actually working properly without lag, folks. Don't mind this. And it's also the first guest appearance of me. Have you never done a cocoa lab before? Uh, only with my friend Versan on Terraria and uh, Deathwing and Left 4 Dead 1 and uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution. That's actually a lot more than I've done. I've only done like, uh, that's the wrong room. I have a feeling that's the wrong room. Why do do, I don't like this. Why do they do this? That's the room you need to go in. It'll lead you to the corridor. It's the only problem with playing so many Resident Evil games. You get so many things mapped out in your head in so many different ways, so so many double doors you think, no, that leads to the wrong way, I can't go that way. I tell you what, I have that problem with sort of Resi 3. <laughs> I think I, it's, I'll go through a door and I think, can I come through that way? Oh yeah, of course I can, I can do that, yeah. But like Resi 1 and 2, it's... Actually, we're playing Resi 2 this morning, it's so bloody linear. Yeah. Like... The, the police station, there's not, you do not do a lot in Resi 2. Resi 2 is very quite easy, I mean, I've seen, well, I've seen, Levy knows it off by heart anyway, but I've seen him do it without saving at all, completely. Yeah, it's... It is pretty it, easy. You've got, you get more, a lot more save rooms in Resident Evil 2. I think there's less enemies, though. Although there's more. You get danger, sounds... you've got worse enemies though, you've got like the lickers, which... Yes, I'm going to mention I... it, yes. Fight it, Cactar, I've told you a hundred times with the lickers. You, if you stay still, thanks to this tip I got from Leviathan, if you stay still with the lickers, they won't do up because they're actually blind. The, the, uh, <laughs> in, in the actual universe, that is correct. Lickers go by sound vibrations that they sense through the Oculus ridges on the brain. But it works in the game though, because uh, that's what... Leviathan told me about that, that's how he works it, so I keep trying to tell the character this and he keeps not doing it. I you can actually do a half trick, like, um, uh, did you ever play MGS1 where Master Miller tells you to do the half walk? I where he don't kind of... think I did. I in, think... In M... <laughs> Sorry, go on dude. I came very late to the uh, Metal Gear Solid series, I'm afraid to say. Ah, fair enough. It, when that Master Miller tells you to... to half press the directional button and snake will walk without making a noise. How? Huh? If you do that, you can kind of get past them and they don't move, but I haven't been able to do it in years because <laughs> I fail these days. Of course, this would have to happen, wouldn't it? No ammo on the dogs. No. Loads and loads of herbs, meaning I have to go all the way back because I'm a stickler uh... for this kind of thing. You could just do uh, double mixes and just drop them off at the guardhouse because you don't need yeah, to pick I anything Yeah, I could do that. Up. It's just in case I have to pick everything else up. I've done this before where I picked up that many air thinking, oh, I've dropped them off here. And like, I need something I need to get to the actual save room, which I can't pick up because I've got the herbs. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but I should be fine here. From I should be fine. You don't need a key to get into the uh, save room or everything here. <laughs> I'm not sure what I can't. I'm not going to do the V jolt on Plant 42 because I'm hoping and praying that I can still get the good barrier ending. The thing is, I'll have to have, have Barry saved the rest of the time, which means uh, that's why I'm not doing the V jolt with Plant 42. I know you're there. Nice try, Dougie. Double D 
Please. Go on. Oh, uh. Oh, saved by bad graphic angles. <laughs> I thought I'd, you know, actually run out of bat, run out of bullets then, and then it, because so like, why ain't I firing? And they're like, huh? The dogs take a lot less ammunition to kill in Resi One than they do in Two. I hear the radio going. This is Brad. Is anybody out there? Just so you know, folks. This is the jail. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Anybody can join. Yeah, just so you know, folks. The lag that you may be hearing is actually the way the radio is. Because I've had that before, I used to think that I'd got really bad lag, lag on my game, but it's actually radio crackling. What the? Oh, seriously? I believe those are blue herbs, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> which I can make to two ultimate herbs, which will be useful for later. I, I never bother with the blue herbs. Um... I do, it's uh, it's just, but, when you, you do you know, know when you get like the spiders and everything as well? Yeah, I suppose having the full full heal and poison clearing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a useless enemy, isn't it? There isn't evil series. The spiders. Well, no, because when you beat the... Well, I'm not going to say the really big ones. I knew I, thought, I knew I had to win left. When you beat the really, really big ones, which is the boss, or when you beat the big ones, when you beat them, a load of little ones come out and they keep attacking you and attacking you and they can poison you. Hang on a minute, folks. Hello? We'll be there when the day is done. Get up my way, but son. Uh, yeah, it's my do 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 uh, talk, talking to myself, that, that's, that's chaos theory. So, back when gone, back. Ah, oh, he's back straight away. Fair Sorry enough. about that. Uh, I will have to cut this recording short soon, so when I get to the next save room, I'm going to have to save, because my, uh, well, let's just say, a trip will be made by certain family members, which will cause this inconvenient, because I will be thought of as rude. Ah, well, that's no worries, though. Aye, so as soon as I find the save room, I'm literally gonna... I can't get that. that. That's cool, dude. Like I say, I have to be off by about half twelve anyway. Well, I've got to finish so. this off really quickly. I mean, I, can't, I would use a save state, but I'm not doing save state, so... Well, if save you, room quick. we can head to the guardhouse, can't we? Yeah, which is... Uh, Down over. I really hate how this game trolls you sometimes. <laughs> it's just like because you go past it the way the camera angle turns. Just like I've been down that. I don't think I've been down that bit yet. You know what? That is why in the director's cut version they put in the different like some new camera angles <laughs> mm. because people were uh, slightly confused at times. Right, so I've got to get to save them rather quick here. Yep, just a case of draining the water, going down the lift. Through the room, through the other room, and then to a save state. Well, a no, save point, I should say. I'm not save, not save state. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, work that crank, baby. This is where I wish I had a joy control, because I'd be speed... I'd actually be speed, uh, hacking right now to get through it quicker. Right. It's just because basically my mum's coming back from hospital and as soon as she gets in she's going to be wanting to talk to me and what's happening and stuff. No, that's cool. It'll take about two minutes literally to get to the save room from here. Yeah, I know. And I hope your mum's well, dude. No, it's not my mum. It's my granddad. I've been, she says it's the all clear. They just want it to go to be, going to be talk. It's my granddad's apparently been given the all clear. Uh, it's just uh, the details that's, that's and everything. Cool, dude. I mm -hmm. hope he's okay proper then. 
<laughs> he's fine. He's just this every month. He's like, oh, something hurts. We need to go to the hospital. Mini yawns. Mini yawns. Run from the mini yawns. That's going to get my head, isn't it? No. What, mini yawns? No, there was this one of mini yawns and literally was in position and they had a lift were going down. If I were going to t t try and get the get uh, back of Jill's head. Take like a nice uh, chunk of Jill. Yeah. What's the bit? There's gonna be, there's dogs down here as well, and there's more of them. Uh, three, I believe, in this oh, room. Oh God. You can dodge yeah, I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna run. I don't have time for you today. Get out of my way. If I die here now, I'm not gonna be too happy. Let me go. Son of a. Oh. I hate when this happens. Go away. Two in there. I think there's two in here as well oh, that you can get God. past these two. I really gotta get through this. I hate when this stuff happens. Oh, it's no worries, dude. Like I say, two dogs, and then it's a run through. Missed. Those are pretty slow it's... dogs, I must admit. Yeah, they're definitely a lot faster in Resi too. Oh, God. well, that's what I'm just saying. If my dog were chasing me like that, it should have caught me by now. Oh, right. no chance. <laughs> you can never get away from a dog, can you? Right, um, which... Save room on your right. Right, that's... That's uh, right there Jill stood next to. Oh, thank God. Sorry I have to cut this short, folks. It's just... Uh... Well, to be honest, it's it's a, nearly an hour now gone, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Right, the stuff in here I'll get next time, but... Uh... <laughs> yes. Our inane ramblings. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember which button's uh, my uh, cut-off button for me. Thing now. Which it... Oh yeah, I need to. Oh, for God's sake! I haven't got him in my ribbon. Damn you, game! Making me waste more time. So I've got to go in here, mess around with here, just to say, get the bloody. Fantastic. Hello, cat. What are you doing? <laughs> right, come on. Yes, I can see my progress with this. Hmm, but I'm thinking I better put double digits in case I no, need more save slots. No, we don't want to save of them. <laughs> right, so... Have you ever watched the Resident Paunchy videos, dude? No, uh, actually, uh, a friend actually just uh, gave me the Resident Evil gen gen the Ren Degeneration film, which I've got yet to watch, but... Oh, right. With the punch, you want to flash videos on new grounds. That's something you should check out when you get chance to. Anyhow, folks, I've been Gun Games. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Lupin for joining me, and I will see you next time. See you later, folks. Right. I'll just uh, stop recording right now.